Hi, today we're going to be looking at a list box and combo box in Delphi. As you will notice, I've set up my GUI. I have an edit box, a list box, a combo box, and a GUI to do my display, which is a rich edit box. I also have a button. The first thing I want to show you is on my list box, which I've clicked on, if we go to the left under our properties, the name is LST for list box sport. And you'll notice I added the sport rugby, hockey, soccer, swimming, and cricket. Now I want to quickly show you how to add the items in your list box. You have to go to items, and if we click on those three dots, you will notice that you have a box that com comes up, string list editor, and this is where you can add or remove the items you want in the list box. And I'm going to click on OK. Then we're going to go into the combo box, and in the same way, you'll notice the name of my combo box is CMB for combo and grade. And if I want to create a list in my combo box or add items to it, I click on the three dots under items and you will notice that I have added the items 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you can add or delete to that. So you will notice that I have the sport and I'm using the combo box to represent the grade from grade 10, sorry, grade 8 to 12. So we're going to double click on our button called display. And the aim of our program, we're going to enter someone's name and choose the sport and the grade. And we want it displayed in our GUI, which we have named Red Display. So we're going to double click on our display button. And you'll notice I declared three variables. Name, which is of top string. S grade to store the grade, which is of top string. And sport, which is of top string. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to write code now to clear our display area so red red control space you'll notice the name comes up red display dot clear so that will clear the display area the next thing i want to do is i want to move the name that is entered in the edit area and store it in a variable called name so I'm going to say name is assigned and the variable or the edit box we are using edt control space edt name dot text. So that will take the name from the edit box and store it in a variable called name. The next thing I want to do is display that. So I'm going to call for red display dot lines dot add and we're going to actually display the contents of the variable called name so we've done that returning to my GUI next I want to take the sport that the person will choose from the list box so in order for me to do that I have declared a variable called sport so I'm going to say sport is assigned And the code we want to call for the list box, which is named LST control space list sport dot items. And we're going to use a square bracket for the index position. So we call for the list box again dot item index. So you will notice that this is the index position. So it will choose from your list box according to the index position of whatever is chosen, which could be index position 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. We'll look at that a little later. Once I've done that, I want to display this. So red display dot lines dot add and we're going to add sport to that. Alright, so we've captured the sport, stored in a variable called sport, and we've displayed it. 
Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the information from the combo box and store it in a variable called grade. You'll notice that I called my or named my variable S grade and S is, is standing for string. So we have a string variable. So S grade is assigned and I'm taking this out from my combo box. So it's CMB control space combo grade dot items and we need an index position similar to the list box cmb control space dot item index we will explain that when we're running the program and then we want to display that red display dot lines dot add and we're gonna say s grade we're gonna display the grade and hopefully that should work so let's quickly run that okay you notice I have my GUI coming up so I'm gonna use the word John I'm gonna choose the grade to be 11 and let's choose soccer and if we click on display we have John soccer 11 so we can see that is working we want to now use an if statement in this program I'm gonna to go to the sports section so if we go to the GUI, the first two sports, rugby and hockey, which is sitting in position, rugby is actually sitting in position zero, hockey is sitting in position one. The first two are winter sports, and the last three are summer sports. We'll assume that the first two are winter sports and the last three are summer sports. So we want to write code that will display whether the sport is winter or summer. So we go to our code, so we will use an if statement, and looking at the index position, if LST sport dot item index Okay, so we're gonna say if LST sport dot item index is less than and equal to one. Okay, we don't need a bracket here, so I'm gonna quickly take that out then we want to display a message winter sport so red control space display dot lines dot add and we're going to use winter and then we're going to use an else statement sorry about that quotes and then a bracket and then we're going to use an else statement so we are saying now if the item index returning to the GUI if the item index remember I said rugby is on position zero if the item index is zero or one then it's a winter sport returning to the code we want an else statement else we're gonna display and I'm gonna use a copy and paste else if it's not less than or equal to one then it should be saying summer sport so we can add the word sport to that winter sport and summer sport okay so let's quickly run this program and we notice we need to type in a name which we're going to type in John grade 10 and let's assume we choose hockey so it says John hockey winter sport which is correct if I choose soccer it should say summer sport and you can see it is doing that we're also going to use an if statement for the grade now you'll notice that s grade is a string variable so if I want to output if the learner is a junior or senior we will assume that a junior is in grade 8 and 9 so we would say if now we're going to use the variable called S grade instead of the item index because I showed you how to use the item index with the list box so now I'm going to use the variable called S grade so what we got to remember is that we've taken S grade as a string so we want to firstly convert it to an integer so we use the command string to int so if S grade 
Now we've converted S grade into an integer and you'll notice if we go to our design that in grade we have 8 to 12 stored. So if S grade is less than and equal to 9 then we can output and remember I copied and pasted the last line of code. So we can output junior else we can output which I have a control and space for my display senior I'm gonna use a control D that will align my code alright so we are saying if S grade is less than or equal to 9, I've converted it to an integer, so I can do a mathematical operation on it. Then output junior, else output senior. Alright, let's test and see if this works. So you'll notice that my GUI is coming up once I click run. And we're going to type John. Let's try grade 9. And we're going to try cricket. So it tells us John, cricket, summer sport, grade 9 is a junior. So if I change this grade to 12, it should tell me senior, 12 senior. If I change rugby to, if I change that to rugby, it should tell me winter sport. So you can see that that is working. If we last look at our program, we've taken the name in, we've displayed the name, we've now taken the sport from the list box and we've displayed the sport and we looked at the index position to determine whether it is a winter or a summer sport. We also took in the grade from the combo box, displayed it and then using the grade we have decided whether the student is a junior or senior. Thank you.